A new term begins at Moordale Secondary School. If you're a fan of sex education, you probably already know the show's third season will soon grace our TV, tablet, and smartphone screens. On September 17th, Otis, performed by gifted English actor Asia Butterfield, Maeve, and the rest of the gang will give us another round of eight episodes full of romance, love, and sex. If you're a sex ed addict too, we know how excited you are to witness the misadventures of the students at fictional Moordale. So save the date, or you know, just set an alarm. This comedy drama series may be about teenagers, but it has already left an undeniable mark on the minds of Netflix watchers of all ages. With pitch perfect writing and an impressively talented cast, sex education has been praised as one of the best portraits of the confusion and passion of everyone's teenage years. And its third season promises to introduce new characters and storylines every bit as hilarious and moving as the previous ones. Of course, the show wouldn't be half as good if it didn't have an outstanding young actor at its center. The shy and inexperienced Otis Milburn is the perfect main character for the show, and Asia Butterfield is the ideal choice to play it. However, Asia is far from inexperienced himself. This talented star has more than 12 years of acting experience under his belt, and he shows no signs of stopping. As part of our ongoing series of videos celebrating sex education, let's take a moment to find out what he's like. Keep watching to learn 5 things you probably didn't know about Asia Butterfield. And remember, if you want to support this channel, you can do so by clicking on the like and subscribe buttons. And you should click the bell icon as well you'll get notified every time one of our new videos is available on the channel. If you're looking for content on sex education or any of your other favorite TV shows and movies, we've got you covered. Number 5. A pro with savvy business decisions since the age of 7. At 24, Butterfield is still very young, but he has got way more years of acting experience than many older colleagues. His first role came when he was only 7 years old, at the Young Actors Theatre in Islington. Quickly after that, the London-born performer debuted as a professional TV actor in the 2006 TV movie After Thomas. That part was soon followed by several other portrayals on the small screen, and he also played a Rambo-emulating little kid in the hilarious comedy film Son of Rambo. By then, he was busier than most performing artists usually are, but 2008 had an even bigger surprise in store for him. He got his breakthrough role as Bruno, the main character in the Holocaust drama The Boy in the Striped Pajamas. All those opportunities weren't just lucky breaks. Asia worked hard to nail the auditions, and he usually did. Despite giving a great first impression in his trial for Bruno, it took him up to 10 different tryouts to finally convince director Mark Herman that he was the perfect actor for the role. Not only that, while he was fighting like hell to get the part, Asia was also good enough to be cast in the science fiction film Mr. Nobody. Nevertheless, he decided the role to focus on was the boy in the striped pajamas. At only 10, he was already making savvy business decisions. His performance was so acclaimed that he soon got a call to play the title character in a Martin Scorsese film, Hugo. Before he was even a teenager, Butterfield got to learn from two masters of film, Scorsese and George Melies. It goes to show how important it is to shoot for the moon. Number 4. Geeky and with a therapist mom on and off screen. Butterfield's wealth of experiences come in handy when he has had to get inside the head of socially awkward teenager Otis Milburn in sex education. In fact, he revealed one of his most effective methods to relate to the character. He snuck more than a few references to his own personal life within the show. Despite not being a mess of social anxiety and shyness himself, Asia is every bit as geeky as Otis. So every time the character plays video games on the show, he's actually playing Asia's favorite ones. That's a really great idea now that we think of it. Asia's at home, at work, and at play all at the same time. That's not the only similarity between Butterfield and Milburn. When it comes to the mother-son relationship and sex education, Asia has a good point of reference at hand. While his on-screen mom, Jean Milburn, is a sex therapist, his own mother, Jacqueline, is a psychologist. 
Thankfully, the latter is not as invasive as Gillian Anderson's character on the show. Nevertheless, Asia grew up having to think hard about everything he said because his mom would analyze him on the spot. Number 3. Played video games competitively, even at the Nintendo Worlds. Although he is an absolute pro as an actor, Asia's main gig is far from the only thing he's insanely talented at. When he's not working in front of the camera, Butterfield likes to kick back by playing Super Smash Bros with his friends. Of course, being the child prodigy that he is, he has turned his hobby into a legitimate profession. He played competitively for a few years and even managed to get to the Nintendo World Championships back in 2017. And that's not all, he is also involved in the creative side of video gaming. Along with his brother Morgan and his father Sam, he designed a turn-based video game for the iPad called Racing Blind. As if his incursions into video gaming weren't enough, Butterfield is also passionate about music. He plays the drums and the piano, and he's got a band with his bro called Mambo Fresh. He's on his way to becoming a full-fledged music producer, and we've already gotten a taste of his skills through a few mashups of his own. Now, if you'll excuse us, we'll go on with the list before we start questioning our own life choices. Number 2. He would like to be a Wildfire Documentaries film director. If you've been paying attention, you must know by now that nothing can stop Asia Butterfield's immeasurable talents. Besides acting, music, and video games, Asia has a keen interest in photography and the natural world. Just like many of us, he grew up watching wildlife documentaries by the likes of David Attenborough. Now, most of us just watched them and thought about how cool lions are, but Asia would love to make a career out of it. He has revealed that he would love to film wildfire documentaries as a challenge. If any of his other activities are anything to go by, we can safely bet that he would succeed with flying colors. Maybe we can start looking forward to an animal documentary version of Sex Education directed by Otis Milburn himself. Number 1. Ella Purnell plus Haley Steinfeld, Nina Dobrev, and Emma Mackey? When it comes to his own sex education, Asia seems to be pretty lucky. Unsurprisingly, the world of acting has gotten him very close to showbiz people, and his partners are talented artists just like him. When he was 15 years old, Asia met actress, singer, and model Haley Steinfeld on the set of Ender's Game, where Butterfield played the titular character. Although they never confirmed their relationship status, the rumors about them dating were everywhere. However, his next relationship was definitely official. When shooting Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, Asia fell for his co-star, English actress Ella Purnell. And they were together for a year until they broke up amicably in 2016. Of course, it doesn't take long for new gossip to spread, and soon there was talk that he was dating yet another of his co-stars, Bulgarian-Canadian actress and model Nina Dobrev. Like with Haley, there was no confirmation of a possible romance, and Asia himself has denied that he and Maeve Wiley performer Emma Mackey are together in real life. Butterfield is formally single at present, feeling it's hard to juggle that many hobbies with a stable relationship. In any case, we hope he eventually finds a Maeve to his Otis. Well, that was our video on Otis Milburn, aka Child Prodigy and Jack of All Trades Asia Butterfield. Is there anything we missed? Then go ahead and let us know by writing a comment down below. Once you do, don't forget to click the like and subscribe buttons to show your support for our channel. You should always remember to hit the bell icon too. That way, you'll get a notification every time we have something new for you. You don't want to miss what's coming. Thanks for watching and see you soon.